Well, hello, Saggy. It is CJ here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new and welcome back, if you are part of our beautiful soul family here, good to see you. Thank you so much for all of your love and your support, your kindness, and just, man, when I read the comments, you guys are just like, you're amazing. And I just want to say, if no one's told you that today, I'm here telling you, you are amazing, Saggy. So this is going to be a daily read. Uh, it is going to be for um, the 5th of April, 2023. Or as I always say, whenever you're drawn to this reading, there's probably a message in it for you, as there's no such thing as time, right? Um, well, here on Earth there is, but not in the cosmos. They're like, what? What? There's no such thing as clocks back there or over there, back there wherever <laughs> okay i feel a little goofy um what else i hope you're doing really great and that you're going after your dreams and that things are really starting to manifest in a beautiful big positive way for you um and i think we should just get right into your reading so with that if you would like a private reading from myself all that information is down below let's get into your reading sad you see what's waiting for you possibly for april 5th Okay, Spirit, show me clearly. We're going to open up with getting a Divine Animal Oracle, and then we'll move into your tarot. Okay, so Sag, on the bottom, we have Cycles. It's interesting, because I did a reading for you the other day, and this card showed up too. Um, so we're going to talk about it, because it's hairs. Um, it's funny, because they were actually, pull, uh, the bottom card was coming out. I will, if they guide me to take it, I will look at it. Um, they do that too, lately. Um, so anyways, we've got Cycles. The hair, it is number 31, which is about four. So fours for me are like about stability. Um, solid foundations, typically, is what it means for me. This is about the bunnies, right? Um, it is about a cycle that either keeps repeating, because if you think about rabbits, um, they breed often, right? Um, and a lot. So this could be indicating that you're, there's a cycle that's going on right now in your life that could be repeating over and over. It also could be um, Spirit's way of coming through saying that there's a lot of abundance coming your way. Because also with bunnies, you know, the rabbit, they're giving me the vision of, um, haven't seen this for a very long time. Um, I might be dating myself here, but they're showing me in my mind's eye a rabbit foot. Um, back in the 70s, they used to hang rabbit feet. It's quite grotesque when I think about it. Um, as a lucky charm in cars back then. Um, so they've just given me that image, and I haven't thought about that since I was a kid. So um, it could be representing some kind of cycle changing for you that a lot of luck may be coming your way. Now, we do have tarantula underneath that. Connections. Um, this is about expansion. It is about, well, it could be even indicating that if you, for example, a lot of money or something was coming your way, you can change a lot of people's lives. That's kind of what they're giving me, Sag. Now, I do want to see what's underneath. Ah, we have the links, secrets. Okay, well, we're going to talk about it because I, right now they're not giving me either way what way this reading is going to go. It is general as well, Sag, so I forgot to say that. Only take it if it resonates. Don't try to fit it. If it doesn't fit, it's okay. Just go with the flow. It's not yours. Come back another day if you'd like to. I'd love to have you here. But twos, they usually are about choices for me. Secrets, perhaps there's some secret that you may be keeping or this is so weird. Um, I'm going to have to say this, it probably, I don't know how many people this would be for, I mean, I like it to be for everyone. They're giving me this energy of like, if you came into a lot of money, you could affect, or you could, you could change a lot of people's lives, like your family, the people that you love, um, but you may need to keep it under wraps. So let's see how this plays out. I'm not going to talk anymore because, um, like I said, I'm not, they're not giving me a concrete a concrete vision of which way to go. So I'm going to leave it. They gave me the rabbit's foot. It's probably for something, but let's see. So Spirit, show me clearly for Saggy, for those that this reading is meant for. For April 5th, 2023, or whenever they come to it, please show me clearly. Okay, wow. The fruit bat. Wow. The fruit bat or the flying fox. This is about kindness, Sag. What was I just saying about, um, like, if you won the lottery, like, if I won the lottery, right, um, how many people's lives I could possibly change, right? You can make a lot of difference with that. And that's what I was feeling. So now we're getting this energy, which is about a beautiful exchange of love, of kindness, perhaps even money, because there is a ton of fruit, beautiful, luscious fruit of every kind here that this woman is feeding the bats. Um, and in return, 
they are not only um, giving her attention and being like, um, you know, they're being very, they're, they're sharing their energy with her, but they're also protecting her as well. So this is a beautiful energy of equal exchange is what I want to say. Okay. Now on the bottom of the deck, we have song lines. Now this is the Orca. This is so interesting. Do you want me to look at this? No. Okay. Now this was number, what did I say? 42? No. It's a 12. So this is three. Threes for me, if you're new to my channel, are really about, um, they're, it's just, it's, for me, it's one of the most powerful numbers as far as our um, uniqueness, our, you know, our mind, our body, our soul, all coming together. It's the power, right? Um, if you're religious, it's the Trinity. Trinity. It's like, you know, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Powerful and number that allows you or um, reignites the power that you have inside of you. Um, to really come into alignment. And when we come into alignment, that's when really great things really start coming towards us. It's where things start to manifest quite quickly for us. So that's what the fruit bat is. Now we have the orca. Now this is number 30. So it's a three, two, both cards, threes. <coughs> um, so orcas, I think that they're amazing mammals. Um, they are very strong. They normally, their pods are their family, right? They normally have not only the babies, but they also have like the grandparents. Uh, and they all work as a team to protect, to teach, to learn. Again, there's this energy of exchanging. Um, I, I want to say exchanging gifts. Um, and look at even how they're protecting over her. There's this little girl lying here sleeping at the bottom of the ocean and they are protecting her. They're curious, but they are protecting her and they were keeping her safe. Um, she is not in any kind of stress at all. So this is going to be an interesting read because the energies from both cards, although one is in water and one is in air, this feels very poignant. Next, we have the polar bear. Do you want to take a look at this? Ancestors. Oh, this is so strong and powerful. I'm getting some energy here, Sag, that you are very guard, guided and being very protected and watched over here from loved ones that have passed on, from your ancestors, um, angels, guides, yes, source, but they're really honing in here of loved ones. Now, some of you might be coming into an inheritance, I have to say that, because they're giving that to me as well. So the polar bear, you know, you know polar bears, right? Bears in general, very protective, right? What's that saying? Like, don't ever mess with it. Like, I'm going to become a, mo I'm a mama bear when someone, you know, screws with my kids or whatever. That's the energy they're giving me. So you are being very, very protected here. Um, you can even see the gentleman on the bottom. He's, he's defending. He's defending his igloo and, and the bear, and the bear is defending him as well. So I'm going to set this aside, and we're going to get into the tarot and see what is going on. I like this energy right now. It feels very balanced. Okay, let's go to the animal, spirit animal deck. If I can get, pick it up. Um, yep, I just feel like this is an alignment. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have two of pentacles. Okay, two of pentacles. This is actually a really nice energy. Um, two of pentacles typically in other tarot cards, where, first of all, it's pentacles, so it's earth. It's about what is stable. Um, you know, the ground, the solidness, feeling safe. Um, and pentacles would be uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and um, Virgo. Typically, it means you're juggling, right? There's, you, there's not a choice that you've made. There's something that you're just kind of trying to balance, trying to juggle. And it feels that way. It could be that way too here. But I'm, they're drawing me to this, to this um, shape of the eight that is in the rainbow colors. Um, but yet this feels like unity. I'm feeling some kind of unity with this card, even though it's a butterfly. Um, butterflies represent transformations, big changes, right? A big shift um, going from the caterpillar to being able to be the butterfly and be free. What is going on, Sag? I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and keep myself calm. This feels very, feels very um, significant, I'll say. So they are showing me this infinity sign, but it is, again, feeling like it is very positive. Okay, and even after that, we have the Sun of Swords. So that would be the Knight of Swords. Um, something 
coming in fast or you going towards something very fast. Okay, I feel like I want to start shuffling. You want me to talk about this? Okay, so underneath that we have the Four of Cups. Now, Four of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It is water. It is our emotions. It is um, our relationships. It's all about the heart, right? Four of Cups would be the energy of, of waiting, feeling bored. Um, it's that energy of like, is anything ever going to change? So in this case, if it was like, say you didn't have much money and you're like, oh my God, how, when is, when are things ever going to improve, for example, right? This feels like this is the energy that you'd be sitting there waiting for. Like, can things change? It's stagnant energy. But then it feels like it shifts, Sag. So let's see. Let's get into this spirit. Show me clearly for Saggy, please. Beautiful spirit for beautiful Sag. What's going on for those that this reading is meant for? I haven't even finished shuffling. Oh, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So Eight of Pentacles. This is all about working again. Now, we have the tarantula. I don't know where it is now because that was on the bottom of the deck. Here we are. It's a spider spinning its web. Spiders work very hard. Um, you know, they are amazing little creatures and their design is... They Look, I, I'm not going to lie. Um, if I see a spider crawl across my foot or, or across the floor, um, it usually kind of startles me because they move fa so fast. But in no way do I not think that they are incredible creatures. I mean, the way that they can spin their web and they can do it so fast and they are so fat, quick and, you know, they're really brilliant insects. Um, and I feel spiders are very good luck. Um, you know, I don't know. We're all from around the world, right? Some of us are in Southern Hemisphere. Some of us are in Northern Hemisphere. Um, but one thing that I used to, I was raised with is that if you killed a spider, like I say it was a sunny day, and if you killed a spider, it would rain. Um, because that's basically like, you know, and taking away the luck. And honestly, that happened more times in my life that I've experienced someone kill a spider and all of a sudden it would go from blue sky, um, warm weather to boom, all of a sudden raining. So there's something here about luck coming your way. That's what I'm getting. Typically, the Eight of, of Pentacles, for me, I would say, this is about working, putting in the energy, you're getting there, you're really making progress. And yes, that is part of the message as well. But they really wanted me to focus on this luck. Okay, interesting. The rabbit's foot, now the spider. All right, spirit, I love it. You take me on some wild rides. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. This is celebration. This is having fun. It's being with others that are like-minded, like heart, hearted like you, that are your connection, um, and having a joyful time. Look, there's three cups, and there's three beautiful birds. They're all sitting together on this branch, and it um, looks like the sun is shining on them. Beautiful en energy saying that whatever this is, I feel like you're going to be doing some celebrating. Underneath that is the Ten of Swords, Sag. So it's like the end of hard times. So take this as it resonates. This could be in your relationships. This could be in your finances. I'm kind of feeling it's more like in your finances career, but you can take it however you want. The energy still applies the same um, from each card. Ten of Swords is after a very difficult time, um, quite a lot of struggle, um, hardship even. Things shift and change, and then it's like your luck improves. Okay, so let's continue. Show me more, please, beautiful spirit. For Saggy, what else do you have for Sag? For those that this reading is meant for. Beautiful energy, Sagittarius. Strength, Leo's card. Love it. Okay, so strength is about, and, and then we got the devil on the bottom. Okay. So we have strength, major arcana. We have the devil, major arcana. Interesting as hell to me. Um, this is Leo's card. This is about being courageous, being brave. I'm also getting this energy of being persistent. So you might have to be very persistent in whatever you are trying to achieve or whatever you're going for. Could even be indicating again, because they're giving it to me again, Sag, that you're going to have to... Okay. i got to find an easier way to explain the spirit. So <clears throat> if you're coming into some large sum of money, for example, okay, 
you are going to have to really keep yourself in your grace and be like that lion and roar because there may be lower vibrational energy that will want it and want to take it from you. This is Capricorn's card, and like I said, this is the devil. And the devil represents in the tarot, you know, um, someone or something that wants to take control, that wants to um, have power over you, that also can be very manipulating, can be very, can be a smooth talker. Um, so, and can represent addictions, etc. Um, I'm feeling with this coming out at the bottom with the strength card, I feel like this is saying that whether this is you coming into money, whether this is some career move that you're making that is really going to be successful, keep your eyes out for anyone that may want to take from you that is not genuine. They're disingenuine, I just am hearing. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling right here. Kind of a little bit of a heads up, I would say. It's followed by the Father of Pentacles, which is the King of Pentacles. So again, a lot of money we're talking about here. Stability. Um, Father of Pentacles is very wealthy, but he's very safe, very secure. He's also a very wise, wise person, right? Now, male or female, does not matter. It's non-gender specific reading. This is the energy of like making sure making sure that you're protecting yourself, share with those that you trust and that are good to you, but be aware of like the vampires that might come in, however that may resonate. They're not giving me much more details than that, Sag, so um, this is what we're getting. Then we get the eight of wands, so two eights. Eights might be, you might be seeing eights a lot. Eight of wands is coming in fast, right? Something I feel positive coming in very fast. Because again, this is showing to me like a rainbow and rainbows are what? They are good luck. Man, there's been a lot of interesting little quotes and um, wise tales coming out in this reading. Okay, spirit, show me more. So we've got strength. We've got the eight of pentacles. What else for Saji? What else can you tell them? Wow, okay. I pull it because it wouldn't go back in. We now have the Knight of Wands, your energy, once again, Leo or Aries, it could be too. New beginning. This is like judgment on the bottom. Jeez. Okay, so this is like the energy of really going after what you are wanting. So some of you, this is about your career, about some move. It feels like a career, although some of you are retired. So I'm trying to keep it as general as I can. Um, and they're not giving me detail, detail, detail where I can actually piece the, pe the puzzle completely together. So the Knight of Wands is really that energy of pursuing exactly what you want, doing it without um, worrying, feeling very excited, very passionate, um, very enthusiastic to go after what you want. If you look at this card, there's a snake and it is slowly climbing up the wand. Um, it's not worried. It's not, you know, it's just right there out in the open, making the climb. So this is that indication that spirit is guiding you to go after what you want or to do what it is you want. Um, and you're being very protective and what's coming back to you is going to be what you're putting out there. This feels a little convoluted spirit for me, but I'm going to keep giving it because if someone's reading out there, judgment on the bottom, this is a big deal, man. Um, Judgment, for me, this is one of the most divine cards you can have in tarot. It feels very much like source or the hand of God to me. Um, very, very strong. Some decision you may be making that is going to change your life. Judgment also is the awakening, you know. It is when you just all of a sudden see everything very clearly. Um... Could be, it does represent like something coming to an end. And if that's the case, the ending is, the beginning after the ending is going to be really beautiful because it's the phoenix rising up out of the ashes, right? After being like almost left to die, rising back up um, and flying, flying very high. <clears throat> we have the Hierophant next, another major arcana, that's Taurus. This could be indicating, wow, man. Um... There's a lot to learn, but there's not only that, Sag, there is this wisdom that spirit wants you to remember that you've gained along your life. And it's going to come in handy because, especially in this deck, this bird is sitting on the key. 
So it's like you hold the key to the answers of where you're going. Now, they keep bringing me back, though, with this money thing. I'm pausing because I'm trying to... I'm trying to understand what they're saying. So the best example I can give you is that there's money coming towards you, whether you're 20 or whether you're 80. There's money coming towards you. Maybe you're... Maybe you're starting a new career and there's a lot of money coming towards you. Some of you might be coming into a lot of money. Inheritance could be even, um, you know, a career move that's bringing a lot of money. I feel like there could be like, they want you to use your wisdom. Obviously, always use your intuition and trust that beautiful intuition of yours, Saji. But there's something here about, that just feels like to be very aware of whatever good is coming towards you. Because I do feel a lot of goodness is coming towards you really be eyes wide open with the people around you. Okay, did I, I feel like I, because I, if I don't get the message, the spirit kind of keeps giving me the energy, but then that's as much as I can get because they're not giving me much more than that spirit. Okay, so I'm now going to go into my um, light here deck. We're going to leave the judgment on the bottom. And let's see. We've got the four of pentacles. Okay. Thank you for guiding me. So that's the energy I'm feeling. Four of Pentacles. Whatever this is, remember we, oh right, we had the links, the secrets. Keeping it to yourself. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Sometimes I go the long way around, Satch. You know, it, it just happens. I'm not always on it. Okay, so Four of Pentacles. Keeping something to yourself. Um, because, again, that devil -y kind of energy, you don't want them to interfere with whatever this is. Okay, glad we got that out. Okay, show me clearly, please, Spirit. What else is going on for Sag? So, Saggy, in a nutshell, something, if this is your reading, you're either doing something to change, I feel it is your financial situation, um, or money is coming into you, in, coming towards you in some way. There will be the vampires around wanting to take it from you. Um, so keep your eyes open, be that lion, you know, um, but keep it on the quiet, I think, until you get everything organized. Very wild. Show me more, please, spirit. The deck is feeling really strange. High priestess. Trusting your intuition. This is Pisces card. Definitely listening to what your gut is telling you about the moves to make and also about the people that are around you. Trust me, your intuition will show you because look at this. There's something huge that feels big coming towards you. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. A new start, I feel, in your finances. And again, I know that's not going to be for everyone, but there's a new start in some area of your life that's going to bring a lot. It feels safe. It feels secure. And I feel like spirit is just saying, heads up, there might be someone that wants to take it away from you. Um, so be very mindful, Saggy. Okay, let's go one more. This is so interesting. If you're doing something, like if this is your reading, I would love to hear what this is. Um, because I'm channeling, right? This isn't for me. This is for you. So I, I'm, I'm like, what is this? What is this? Okay. Well, that's a lot. But we'll take them. Six of Swords. Sag, there's some change coming into your life that's going to move you away from whatever trouble times you may be in, whatever struggles you might be in. <coughs> totally moving in a different direction. This is um, air, so it's about our communication. It's about our logic, how we speak. <coughs> and here I go with the coughing again. But this card is about you moving away from what felt bad, moving towards something that's going to be much better. <coughs> um... Okay, so what do we have? I'm going to make some room. We've got the Ten of Cups, so that's beautiful. So we got the Page of Cups, we got the Knight of Pentacles, we got the Five of Pentacles, and then we got the Ten of Cups. Okay, so what uh, this is, okay, this is really important. Um, whatever this is, I feel it's money. Um, make sure you are making a plan. That's probably why Spirit is guiding you to keep this information secret. Um, because you don't want anyone to get in your way. And people will do that, you know? Not all people, 
But sometimes there's people around, and you, you would know well, you, this would if this is resonating with you. You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes there's people that don't want you to have good Sag. They want you to not have anything good. Um, so if they get any wind of some new job proposal or some money coming your way or some new idea that you're you're do pursuing, um, they might want to try and f it up for you, right? So make sure you are really planning things the way you're going. Because um, the Knight of Pentacles is a slow and steady plan. Don't miss any corners, right? Um, again, if you're winning big money or something, same deal, right? You really need to make sure you know what you're doing with it. We've got the Page of Cups. This feels like a new beginning. I feel like this is representing a new stage of your life where you're going to be falling in love with what each day brings. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You might even feel like life has changed so much that you are can't kind of feel like your your feet aren't even, even touching the ground that kind of energy um and then we have the ten of cups but i want to talk about the five of pentacles because the way spirit is giving this to me is they really want you to be very mindful of of your plan and what you're going to do with your money or however this however this resonates career-wise um because they don't want you to lose your money or lose this opportunity. Five of Pentacles, right? Five of Pentacles is about lack. It's about feeling lost, feeling abandoned. Um, I don't feel like that is what is happening for you. I'm, I feel the Spirit is saying, put the plan in motion, Saggy, so that the devil, the devil energy, cannot screw it up. That's really what I'm feeling here. And then we have the Ten of Cups. So beautiful energy of happiness, feeling safe again and secure and enjoying your life and this again can go back to who you are going to share whatever this is for you whether it be money whether it be just the you know the energy right i hope this is making sense ten of cups can mean you are with a partner but um, this isn't a love reading i know it's not a love reading this is totally about everything else but love really in this reading so, Sag, that is what I have for you. It's like there's a happy ever and the happy ever after ending here. Ending, beginning. Um, big shift. Big shift. I really feel like it's about your money, Sag. Like I can't get off of that. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Two Eight of Pentacles. Six of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Pentacles, a lot of offers, a lot of opportunities, a lot of um, contemplation of where you're going to put the money, right? As it's growing, or whatever this is. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles, two of those now we have. This is like making a plan. Six of Cups. Something connected to your past. Wheel of Fortune. I mean, this could be family. This could be, again, this could be an inheritance left for you. This could be um, people from your past coming back when they find out whatever this is you're doing. This could be some kind of creation that you're, you're doing, some project that you're starting. But however it is, you get the Wheel of Fortune too. Another major arcana. Things changing and turning in your favor. Page of Pentacles. There's so much Pentacles in this reading. Okay. I feel like I want to go one more time. Oh, seven of Cups on, well, on the top. Uh, this is a lot of, this is a lot of contemplating, really figuring things out. Okay. So I don't know, Sag. This feels good. Feels really good. Just be mindful of the takers is what I just heard. Anything else, Spirit, for Sag? This feels so good. Anything else? I'll go three more times, Spirit. One, two, three. There's that devil. Twice it's showing up. We've got the chariot next. Cancer's card. Be victorious. Stay in control of your finances of your ideas, however this resonates, um, Sag, because I feel like there's going to be lurkers. Okay. 
Wow, what an interesting read so far here. All right, Spirit, where do you want me to go next? Okay, I feel like they want me to go to Pearls of Wisdom. So let me know what this is, Saggy. There's something coming in. It feels very good. I, I know you're protected. I know you're being watched over. <coughs> um, I do feel that there's some, some change in your fortune changing, some change in your luck, maybe I should say. You are going to be happy, very, very happy. Just be mindful of the takers. Okay. We have rebirth on the bottom. So I'm going to read it because that feel, feels very fitting. Change comes through new understanding, forgiveness, and recognizing wisdom gained through experiences. Spiritual awareness grows and the meaning of love is understood. There is a rebirth happening for you. Oh my God, look at this. You got rebirth. Then you have new growth. There's a butterfly. Beautiful. It's time to spread your wings and fly. And then we have future knowledge. Your spiritual awareness is increasing and, your guide, you, and you are guided to ground. Um, beautiful. This is Okay, let's see what card. I really feel there's some big change coming towards you. Okay, spirit, show me clearly one final card for Saggy. And then we'll close out this reading. I'm so curious of what this is. What is this? Let me know, Sag. It feels positive. It feels exciting. Is there any card, please, Spirit? Okay, thank you. Wisdom. And we got rebirth again. So guarantee, there's some new big change coming in. There's a rebirth. A cycle is closing. A new one's starting. But there will always be those that will test. Always. So we have wisdom that just flew up and it is a peacock. And in my, um, I'm just so excited here. In this animal oracle deck, I believe peacock represents prosperity. Sag, I'm going to look this up. We're going to, so I want to know. The spirit just guided it to me. And like I said, I don't have all these cards memorized. Um, I'm too old. My mind doesn't absorb things that that much anymore. Um, but I need to see this peacock because if it is prosperity, it is. I'm telling you. Oh my God, I'm just getting goosebumps because we now have wisdom. <laughs> we have wisdom, which is the owl. And you have the peacock, which is the wisdom card. Do you see? Do you see? I'm so excited. Okay. And this card, the colors, gold. All about abundance. Look at Peacock. Oh, okay, Sag, I just dropped it. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I'm way too goofy. But that's just me. Okay, coming back. And I'm very I'm moving very slow, I haven't told you. Um <laughs> Okay, let me finish your reading and then I'll tell you what, what why I was so slow getting up there. Peacock is all about prosperity. That is what this is. I'm telling you, there's something coming in towards you that feels pretty darn good, Sag. Really good. Now, like I said, it might not be money. Not everyone wants money. Not everyone needs money. But whatever it is that you're wanting, it feels like it's freaking coming in. So, you got wisdom. This is a peacock on it. It says, do you define yourself by others? Release fears and past beliefs and life will take care of itself and flow. This is really, there's something changing here, such some big change. Trust your wisdom. Trust your inner guidance system when you are dealing with the devils in this world. Listen to that intuition. Some big, beautiful, I don't know what it is, Sag. I'm very excited for you, though. I'm very, very excited. So that's what we have here. Um, God, I love it. Now, the reason I was so slow getting up, because I know I've told you guys that I'm very klutzy. That's why I try to keep my water to the side, because... I probably soak everything up. The other night, I was walking down my hallway, and I, I, there, I have a register, you know, air intake air register. I freaking smacked my foot into it, and um, I don't, I didn't break my toes, but I can barely walk today because they're bruised. So that's just a little of me sharing some CJ klutz times that I do often. Okay, so anyway, Saggy. Now this is your reading. I am excited for you. 
let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I try to respond to each of and every one of you. Know that I read every comment and I love you. Um, so thank you so much. Let me know what this is because it feels really, really blessed. It really, truly does. Okay, so Sag, I'm going to close it there. I feel very goofy and I feel like I just, I'm going to start rambling now. So no one needs that. All right, Sag, so I send you so much love. Have a beautiful, I guess that will be what, Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday. Man, let me know because this is looking good. All right, Sag, big hugs and kisses. I love you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Take care.